September 13th, 2009, Miami Township Fire Department, Montgomery County, conducting uh, standpipe flow tests. We are currently hooked up with an inch and three quarter line, 150 feet to a fog nozzle that goes to the exterior. We are on one of the risers near the food court. Our static pressure is 60 PSI. We have an inline flow meter. It will give us an indication of our gallons per minute flow. Inch three quarter line working through the back hallway around past Cajun Express what is currently Cajun Express making the left to the service elevator and stairs down the stairwell through the center and to exterior for the purpose of this evolution we'll be working the uh, Akron Brass Chief nozzle this is a 150-75 tip. Once we flow this and get our gallonage, we'll be breaking it down and flowing a 7 8 inch smooth bore tip uh, to monitor our friction loss through the inch and three quarter and to see how adequate the standpipe is without being pumped. Currently I have about five sections of four inch LDH down our training engine. That training engine has another inline pressure gauge so we monitor the engine discharge pressure as it's supplementing the supply. You can see static at zero. We have no flow. We have a four inch line adapted to one side of the Siamese. Part of today's evolution is, is to see if this uh, short reduction in uh, diameter will hinder the overall flow capability of this Siamese. That is a four to five, five to two and a half female to double male to Siamese. Interior of the standpipe, I have a, what appears to be about a four inch line going to a cap riser and then three I believe eight inch risers with an inch and three quarter line, three sections at 150 feet, uh, fog nozzle, acro brass, chief, uh, 75 psi nozzle pressure at 150 gallons a minute. Our static pressure on the standpipe was 60 psi. Our flowing pressure is right at 52 psi, and our gallon inches, if you can see the span flow master down there, is right about 50 gallons a minute. We're going to have the engine come up to 140 PSI engine discharge pressure. That's going to give us roughly 135 gallons a minute at 120 PSI standpipe discharge pressure. See we're slowly starting to come up on our pressure here. Target's going to be 140 PSI engine discharge pressure. We're currently at 90 gallons a minute, Blaine, if you'll show that, and roughly 100 PSI. There we kick over to 100 gallons a minute. Uh, at the standpipe discharge. Now we're starting to come up pretty quickly. We should be approaching 135 gallons a minute and 140 psi engine discharge pressure. Here, 140 engine discharge pressure. We are currently at 120 psi in line and our flow minder is floating between 120 and 130 gallons a minute if you get a shot of that plane and then head down to the uh using a 7 8 inch smooth bore tip 
130 PSI engine discharge pressure, 160 gallons a minute, and the inch and three quarter hand line, and uh, right at 105, 106 PSI riser discharge pressure. We've got a two and a half inch hose line, inch and an eighth tip, three sections of two and a half and 150 feet long. Our riser discharge pressure is right at 40 PSI. Our flow is 180 to 190 gallons a minute. That's with no additional pumping from the engine. If we come over this way, we've got a water thief set um, in line and a gate valve, which would be our officer standpipe pack. The other 50 foot section that comes out of that pack connects to our flow meter and our inline pressure gauge. This inline pressure gauge would also be part of the standpipe pack. Our riser discharge pressure is uh, roughly 45 psi. This is the engine pumping the standpipe at an idle. We're at 200 gallons a minute on the flow meter. At 80 psi riser discharge pressure, I've got 260 to 270 gallons a minute flow, which will call our 266, which is the spec flow uh, for that engine and engine. Coming out to our uh, Hand line, two and a half inch smooth bore tip with an uh, inch and eight on it. We have 360 gallons a minute flow, 53 psi discharge at the riser, one section of two and a half to a water thief. Two two and a halfs. 